Praise God. It's good to come to your home again to pray with you. Hallelujah. Today, I would like to pray with you about this very, very important point. Before we pray, let's quickly go into the Word of God and see what the Bible says. I would like to read Psalm 91 from verse 1. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Today, people of God, I want to pray with you about your night as you are going to bed. You've been out all day. You've been trying your best. It's time for you to come home to have a very good rest so you can get rejuvenated for tomorrow so you can fulfill destiny and purpose that God has for you. But don't forget, this is the same night, this is the same time that the power of darkness, they like to operate. This is the same time that people go through nightmares, the same, the same time that fear settles in. This is the same time that depression kicks in, people of God, but that will not be your portion. That's why the Lord has sent me today to come and pray with you. As you are going to bed, that the presence of God will be with you. The glory of the Lord will overshadow shadow you and no evil shall come near you hallelujah the word of god says in the book of matthew chapter 13 he said when men sleep when men sleep the enemy comes and so tears among the wheat and when it's way. People of God, there are so many things that happen when people sleep, especially in your dream. And when you wake up in the morning, you have no idea or you have no clue of what has happened in the middle of the night because you don't even remember. You just realize that so many things begin to manifest in your life that is not the, that are not part of God's plan for you or things that you don't even like to manifest in your life. But today, the mighty hand of God will put a stop into to this in the name of Jesus Christ I just want you to agree with me as I pray with you before you go to bed I want you to stretch your hand towards the screen and I want you to believe the Bible says unto him that believeth there shall be a performance if you can just believe the presence of God will fill your house at this moment as we pray the glory of the Lord will descend upon you and fill the place where you are right now Remember, the Bible says when Solomon finished dedicating the temple, the Shekinah glory of God came down and filled the temple so much that even the priests, the high priests, they could not perform their duty because the glory of the Lord was so mighty in the house. Hallelujah. The glory of God will fill your house this morning. This moment, the glory of the Lord will fill your home at this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you can just agree with me. The Bible says, When two of you shall agree as touching a thing on earth, it shall be done unto them by my Father which is in heaven. If you can just agree, in the name of Jesus Christ, there will be open heavens right now, and the angels of the Lord will descend and fill your home to protect you as you are going to bed. Hallelujah. Just stretch forth your, your hands towards your screen and believe with me as I pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for the life of this one in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, O oh God, for the great privilege to see this moment. You've been with them all day, O oh God. I thank you for what you have done in their life today. I thank you for always being there for them, even when they don't know. Um, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, O oh God, for rescuing us from the danger of the day. The Bible says, redeeming the time for all days are evil. You have delivered them from the evil of the day. 
Now you have brought them home, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray this evening, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, as they are going to bed, is there anything that they have done, O oh God, today that may, that, that, that enemy can accuse them of in the mighty name of Jesus on the basis of your mercy? I pray that you forgive this person right now. Cleanse this person by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, as I'm praying with you, as I am praying for you, I cover you in the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your household in the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your properties in the blood of Jesus Christ. I hereby draw the bloodline to surround you, your family, and your household right now in the blood of Jesus Christ. That no evil will come near you, no danger shall come near your dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are well covered and protected in the Lord. In the name of of Jesus Christ. The word of God says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and is saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hereby hide you under the name of the Lord today and you are well protected and secured in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, today as you are going to bed, I command every dream attack to stay away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command every nightmare to stay away from you. I cast them away from you as you are going to bed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you power of the night, hear the word of God. This person is not your candidate. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I cast you away from this household right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every satanic dream that is designed to destroy destiny, this person is not your candidate. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to stay away from this household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you satanic dream that is designed to steal people's blessing I command you in the name of Jesus and I forbid you from coming to this household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for this family this person this household they are not your candidates in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every satanic dream that is designed to plant sickness in the life of people to plant sickness in people's body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command you to stay away from this family I command you to stay away from this person right now I command you to stay away from this household right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you night caterer that always feed people that always feeding people in their dream you prepare food to give people to eat so you can sow the seed of sickness seed of infirmity you can sow the seed of delay seed of disturbance seed of depression oppression in the life of people in the mighty name of jesus christ i forbid you from coming near to this family in the mighty name of jesus christ this family doesn't need your service in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind you and cast you away from this household in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic agent that come to people in their dream to have sex with them in order to sow evil seed into people's life, in order to, to delay their, the fulfillment of the will of God, in order to hinder their blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you have no authority over this person. You have no power over this household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I hereby bind you by the power and in the name of Jesus Christ, and I curse you out of this house, and I curse you out of this family. Your service is no needed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil, evil, the every work of the devil manifesting in people's dreams, I condemn you tonight. I condemn you tonight on behalf of this family, on behalf of this person. I condemn you tonight. I bind you, I curse you away every satanic dream that is designed to confuse people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ or concerning this family you will not prosper I bind you and I command you to be destroyed by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
has this person, has this house, or has this family, as they are going to bed tonight, Father, I pray that you bless them with the blessings of heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and I pray that you arise tonight, O God, and fight for this family, and give them victory, even in their sleep, fight for them, O God, and give them victory, even in their dream, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you tonight, and I stretch forth my hand towards you right now. I pray for you now that every power of the night that is assigned to hinder the blessings of God in your life, I bind such power and I cast them away from your life right now. I cast them away from your dreams right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as you're going to bed tonight, in your sleep tonight, receive new revelation, new revelation from the Lord, new revelation of your greatness, receive it tonight. New revelation of your glory, receive it tonight. New revelation that, 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 that the Lord will show you the next step you need to take in life. Receive that revelation tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, so that you will not miss your way. So when you wake up in the morning, you will know the next step to take. You will know what to do about your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your dream tonight, receive new direction. In your dreams tonight, receive divine instruction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so that the Holy Spirit of God will guide you and lead you in the morning in every area of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have any form of sickness in your body, I pray that in your sleep tonight, the greater physician of heaven, Dr. Jesus will come and perform surgical operation upon in your body right now and remove anything that is not of God, anything that is contrary to good health. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in your sleep tonight, I pray that the Lord will demonstrate his power and uproot any tree that he has not planted in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and everything that enemy has done or taken away in your life through dream and sleep. I pray that tonight the mighty hand of God will bring restoration. Every good thing that you have lost in the mighty name of Jesus in your sleep tonight there will be restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you've been fighting and you cannot sleep. You've been trying everything. You have taken so much medication and you still could not sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray tonight that the mighty hands of God, the grace of the living God, the anointing of God will rest upon you to give you a sweet sleep, a sound and sweet sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in, the, in your sleep tonight, in your dream tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will reveal unto you the deepest secrets of your enemies. Everything that enemies trying to do in your life will be revealed to you tonight so you know how to pray in the morning. In the name of Jesus, can every power that have taken sleep away from you, I command them to lose your hold upon, to lose their hold upon your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, tonight you are blessed as you are going to bed. In the name of Jesus, tonight the grace of God rests upon you. Tonight the mighty hand of God come upon you. The Bible says the angels of the Lord and comes round about those who fear him. Tonight the Lord will surround you with his angels. In the name of Jesus Christ and every power that trying to turn your sleep into a battlefield. I bind such power tonight. I command them to lose their holds upon your life. Every power that erases your memory before you wake up so you will not remember what happened in the night. In the mighty name of Jesus, they no longer have power over you. In the name of Jesus, and I command them to lose their hold upon your life right now. Any power that's using other people's images to confuse you in order to do evil in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind them tonight and I cast them away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every power that put evil marks upon people's body, in the name of Jesus Christ, in your sleep and in your dream tonight, they will have no power over your life. You are well protected. You are well secure in the Lord. Every power that presses people in their sleep, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command them to lose their hold upon your life right now in the mighty name of jesus christ as you are going to bed 
surrounded. You are surrounded by the angels of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will wake up in the morning with joy in your heart. You will song of praise in your mouth and testimony in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Every eye shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you. In the name of Jesus, it is well with your household. It is well with the works of your hand. It is well with your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Have a wonderful sleep and a sweet dream. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And before I go, I would like to introduce with you this book that will be a great blessing unto you. The first one, I know probably you've heard about is called I Must Win This Battle. This book is a book that transforms lives all over the world. You need to get your copy today. No matter the situation that you are going through, you will see an answer in the name of Jesus through the word of God in this book. Get your copy today by going to our website. Just click a link under this video and you can go to our website to order your copy. The second one is say, let there be a change. Let there be a change no matter the situation that is going on in your life. If you don't like that situation to continue and you need a change, people of God, you need to get a copy of this book. By having it in your home, your life, will, your prayer life will never be the same again. Your life, your finances, everything about you will never be the same again. You need a copy today. God bless you. This is Apostle Tim. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will always be there for you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Have a wonderful night rest in Jesus' name. Amen.